Good morning, church family and Facebook friends. It's a beautiful day today. We're in the book of Colossians chapter 1. We're going to read verse 20 through 22, which is really, verse 19 started a sentence that really runs all the way through the end of the chapter, one long sentence. But we're just going to take this part of it this morning. Colossians 1, 20 through 22. And having made peace through the blood of his cross, by him to reconcile all things unto himself, by him I say, whether they be things in heaven or things in earth, and you that were sometimes alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now hath he reconciled in the body of his flesh through death to present you holy and unblameable and unreprovable in his sight. The, the Apostle Paul has talked about Jesus having the preeminence, and that it pleased the Father that in him, in Jesus Christ, should all fullness dwell. And now he starts talking about the work of the Lord Jesus Christ, his death, his burial, and resurrection. And in that work, we find that he has reconciled everything to himself. He's reconciled us to himself, and he has made peace with God. You see, before we're saved, we are enemies. We are, as he put it here, alienated and enemies in our mind by our wicked works. So we're on one side, God's on the other side, and we're not getting along. But with the death of Christ and his burial and resurrection, he's been able to bring us over to God's side of things. And listen to what he says here, that in his body through, through death, he could present us to God holy, unblameable, and unreprovable in his sight. Now that's not us doing that. That's Jesus Christ doing that. When we get saved... We're holy before God. We're unreprovable and unblameable. Nothing can stick to us. Now, now what we need to do is we need to understand that truth, realize our position in Christ, and then we need to live like that every day. Because he said, I'm holy, I ought to live holy. Because he said, I'm unblameable, then I ought to live my life and be careful that no accusation can stick and unreprovable. I ought to live my life above reproach because of the Lord Jesus Christ. Not to get me saved, not to keep me saved. I'm saved by his grace through faith. He keeps me saved, but I want to live the way that he sees me in my position in Christ. I want to live holy. I want to live unblameable and unreprovable. Let's make that our goal today, and through that we'll show the world the love of God for them. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.